Morning. Our first true battle is within our bed that lies our demise, giving us the option to wake up and persevere, or stay idle, because next Monday, the change within will happen. You prioritize your inbox and check your newsfeed. See if you gain new followers. Disappointing. No one likes your post. There's still time, but your bed as you bind it for one more hour. Just one more hour. You try to get up, but not to finish your set. Why am I so tired in the morning? You feel no urgency to get ready early because the delicacy of your sheets provides you with a sense of apathy. Imagine having the time to cook breakfast, eat, enjoy the morning, prepare your lunch for the day and work on your passion project. You feel no hunger, therefore you decide to recover from the previous day. Face it, you lost this time. Efficiency passes by you. Being able to work on your personal projects feels like an ideology when your day feels so long and tiring. You are a master of excuses, but you will never blame yourself. I wish I was this tired at night before going to bed. It's what you tell yourself every morning. The clock is ticking. Your day has now started. Get up already. Five more minutes. You said that one hour ago after snoozing your tenth alarm. You have enough energy to yawn, but not to wash yourself. You're running late. The only thing you'll be able to eat this morning is regret for not having the chance to wake up earlier. No time to change. You're a mess. Stress. It's present once again for the fourth time this week. Forgot something? The usual. You can run, but you can't hide from the traffic. I wouldn't still be stuck in traffic if I woke up earlier. Is what you think to cope with your lack of punctuality. The reality is not that pretty because what you see is yourself, just not happy. You're losing time and productivity. And this makes you envy your coworkers who successfully won the daily battle. Time is lost, work is delayed, sloppiness increases. Unprepared and disorganized, you look like a fool. Regret is starting to digest in your stomach, just in time for lunch. Ah, of course, the one you forgot. What if you actually had time during lunch, not to just eat, but better yourself physically? You don't have time because you're on a mission to feed your body. You're fed up because there's nothing close by that's decent to eat. I guess a drive through it is then. Time flies by. Hopefully you have enough time to make it back. Steve, your coworker, works out every lunch. He's crazy. It must be so much effort for him in the morning to prepare his day. Why bother? I'm going to the gym after work anyways. This time, I swear, no more excuses. I'll prepare my lunch before going to sleep too. This melody sounds familiar. It loops every day because fatigue won't allow you to change songs. Many forget how every second counts as they lose sight of the moment. An hour is meaningless to some. Not much can be accomplished to others. That hour is what makes them feel invincible. Mission accomplished. You can finally feast. Glorious lunch hour, the sanctuary of peace. It's short, too short. You wish it was longer. Remember recess? Man, kids would be allowed 15 minutes to escape reality. It went by so fast. 15 minutes felt like 15 seconds. And 15 minutes in class felt like 15 hours. There aren't enough hours in the day. And you count each and every one of them until you finish your shift. Free time, can that be bought? You complain that you never have time for yourself because you work every day. There is 168 hours in the week. 24% of your time is spent at work. But it feels so much longer because sleep has you imprisoned. Laziness is an illness that became a habit, a bad one. Therefore, we don't feel urgency to get rid of it because tomorrow will be gone, said yesterday. Life offers many options, but never the easy one. It's deceiving and doesn't allow you to see past your next failure. You can't overcome the presence of time. Rather, you become a puppet controlled by it. You worked hard creating excuses to justify your lack of energy and time every day. You are tired. The day depleted your energy, leaving you at a loss for the next battle. Exhausted, but you made it. Once again, you put a pause on your life goals. You schedule them for the next day, until the next day ends when sleep calls your name again. Life is short, and change can only happen within you when you realize your excuses are your other half.